right, the first thing that you're going to do is go down to the search box and type run, and then select the run app. In the run window, type in prefetch. If you're prompted that you do not have permission to access this folder, just go ahead and click continue. Once you're in this folder, what you want to do is select everything that is in the folder and delete it. Go ahead and close out the window when you're done. Next, go down into the search and type in run. Select the run app. Inside the window, type in temp. Then select OK. Once you're in this temp folder, go ahead and select all of the files and delete them. If you're prompted that you do not have permission, go ahead and select do this for all current items and click continue. Once you're done with that, go ahead and close out the window. Next, go ahead and go down into the search box and type in run. Select the run app one more time and type exclamation temp exclamation. Then click OK. Once you're in this folder, you want to select everything that you have in this folder and go ahead and delete it. If you're prompted that you do not have permission, go ahead and select do this for all current items and select try again. Some of the temp files might be in use and might not be able to be deleted. That's OK. Once you've deleted everything you can, go ahead and close the window. Next, go down into the search box and type in defrag. Select defragment and optimize drives. Once the optimized drives window is open, go ahead and select your local disk drive, which should be your C drive, and then select optimize. Depending on how slow your computer is, this might take a minute or two. When you're done, go ahead and click close. Next, you want to open up your file explorer. Once your file explorer is open, go ahead and click on this PC, and then you want to right click on your local disk drive. Select properties. Now select Disk Cleanup. You can now close all these windows except for the Disk Cleanup window. On the Disk Cleanup window, go ahead and select Clean Up System Files. Depending on how backed up your computer is, this might take a couple minutes. Make sure that everything is selected in the drop down box on the left hand side. Once all boxes are checked, go ahead and click OK. Then select Delete Files. Depending on how backed up your computer is, this might take a couple minutes. Once your disk cleanup is done, go ahead and back down into the search one more time and type in task. Then select task manager. Once the task manager window is open, go ahead and select the startup tab. Once you're on the startup tab, you want to check this list. And if you see anything that you don't use when you turn on your computer, you want to make sure that it's disabled over here on the right. If you're not sure if you use it or not, go ahead and leave it on. But if you see something like Cortana or Pandora or a video game, make sure those are disabled. You don't want any of those things turning on with your computer when you turn them on. And when you're done with all that, close the window. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to clean up your Windows 10 PC. If this video helped you out at all, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. We'll see y'all next time. And remember, don't be toxic. Spread positivity.